everybody, welcome to the channel, The Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andres Salazar. I'm a comic book writer, artist, creator, lover, purveyor, and reviewer. Uh, I love comics. Thanks for joining me, chatting it up here with us. I appreciate your time. While you're here, a quick commercial break, go check out the Patreon. A bunch of free comics I put on there. And if you want to put a little tip, you get to actually read the current graphic novel I'm doing called Shangri-La Stays. You can even read that comic. A bunch of other comics I've made all on my Patreon. So there you go. That's my plug. Done. Now, today I want to talk about Tom Gold's work called Goliath. This is drawn in quarterly. Uh, Tom Gold, a Scotsman, has done a lot of strips for Guardian, uh, New York Times, a lot of work. Uh, in comic book form, most of his stuff is here in Drawn Quarterly, another great publisher. I mentioned before many times, I love me some fan graphics, I love me some Drawn Quarterly. Tom Gold, this is his home, you can tell, it's got that style. Um, he's mostly known for like, I think Moon Cop is his biggest book. This is Goliath, uh, I picked it up. It retails for 17 bucks. Of course, you can find it a little cheaper usually some places. A uh, little small size, kind of like manga sized. And it's about, a, what is it, 100 pages or so. Um, if we're talking about value proposition, we'll say $17 and you can read this whole thing in probably about 15 to 20 minutes. So that might turn you off right there. You're like, ah, uh, you know, I want like a big chunk. I mean, for the same price, practically, you can get like, you know, Planetes or something, right? Some big, meaty manga or something like that, right? Um, although manga is not a great comparison because they, you know, one little scene is like 20 pages because they jam through it. So, um, but I don't want to say that time equals money, although it does. In comics, sometimes even though you can read this in 20 minutes, you can say, look, it's worth the 17 bucks that you would spend on a Spider-Man volume, you know, trade, and which would take you maybe an hour to do, or an hour and a half, because there's just some cool craftsmanship, and it's just kind of a different style and flavor, and that's what you're buying. That's what you're paying the extra money for, is that indie flavor. And Tom Gold's got that that indiness to them, that that the lettering is brilliant, just everything has got that handcrafted artisan type of flavor, right? So if you like books like by Chris Ware, by Seth, you know, if you if you like the fanographics, drawn and quarterly stuff, this is kind of like the kind of comic strips or the comic style that you're looking for. That's what you want. You, you don't want superheroes or you don't want image and boom, which are basically TV, you know, property, you know, creation labs. You want the comic book, right? And that's what this is. Um, I like this. I didn't love it, but I do like it. I'm a big fan of biblical stories and things about the Bible and, the, and those kind of things. And so I felt like this was a fun way to look at <laughs> Goliath from Gad and, um, and why don't, we, why don't we turn the camera over and just take a look at some of this stuff. Um, this is a pretty fun book, so let's check it out right now. Okay guys, so you know, my mission on this channel is really one thing. To share the medium, the, the art form, the business of comic books, of comics, sequential art, illustration, that kind of stuff. That's what I like. I wouldn't do it if I didn't like it. And in my my quest to find new things, things that are cool, things that are different, I, I came across Tom Gold. Now I've seen some of his stuff and I think I've seen like a little strip of Moon Cop. I don't have Moon Cop actually, the whole thing, the like, collection. But I do, I have read some strips. Maybe it was in like a drawn and quarterly, like little like, um, like a little like package where they they put little like previews type of things and I think that's what it was and I saw it and I'm like oh this is really cool and this has really got that indie flavor that I like so I picked it up that was pretty much it, it was like a blind buy 
But um, let's just talk a little bit about it. One of the things that I really appreciate about this kind of work is the handcraftedness of it. The the fact, and you know what? What's nice is that it's got that look to it, but it, this could all very well have been done in Photoshop for all I know. But it's got that handcrafted line quality that I like, right? With this this dead line of rapidograph, you know, no weight changing with the fun, just all the hatching and cross hatching. And, and I equate all that work to time, effort and time. You know, he possibly put the same amount of time building this as, as the guy who made the cover of X-Men 162, you know, whatever. The same amount of time. But, you know, in each of these lines, he's sitting here you know, at his desk making those lines and these little like really kind of fun atmospheric kind of clouds, these little, these little lines. This is the kind of stuff I really like. So I like the packaging, the design, you know, that's all kind of fun for me. And it's just like got that, that again, I'm going to keep using the term indie, but it, just because I can't find a better term than that. I'll check this out. So, so I go out, that's kind of neat. So it kind of goes out a bit kind of a nice little element to it. Um, it is a take on on Goliath from Gad uh, and the whole Philistines versus the Israelites idea. Um, it was first published uh, in 2012. This is a 2017 version. I, know, I might have even got as a Comic-Con, I don't remember. Although, I think I would have had it signed if I had a Comic-Con, but who knows. Um, we start off, we learn about what we learn about him. Uh, basically, he's like an admin. He's just this huge dude. He's not a soldier. I mean, the story's different, right? So he's, there's a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek comedy to it. He's not a soldier. He's just this guy who is an administrative <laughs> assistant of some sort in the uh, Philistine army. And... He gets roped in because of his size to be this champion and warrior. But just let's take a look at this. I mean, this is just kind of a nice panel of him walking. Something simple, right? Just walking down the hill. And now, a lot of times you would just maybe do this in one panel. You would, you would not dedicate a whole page to this. This is all, look at this. This is all hand cross-hatched. That just takes a lot of time to do that. And so the, you always ask the question, why would you do that? Why, why? Well, because you're invoking some sort of emotion or care to it. Or there's just a craftsmanship level of, you know, dedication to the art. You want the look of it. And maybe it's just a purely aesthetic reason why you want that. Um, you know, again, we don't care about anatomy. We don't care about any of those things. But what is important is the page composition and, you know, the actual framing of each panel is important too. But he doesn't really care about anatomy, you know, perspective, those kind of things. It's not what we're doing here. Interesting choice. He has everything with this layer this kind of a sepia brown layer over it but that will change this is the night and so the night is like that but then once we get in the day then you have more of a kind of classic strip um so yeah basically the philistines are camping out they're trying to take over the israelites and uh they find goliath you know taking some notes doing his work and they say, we're going to give you some armor. We're going to make this armor for you. You're going to be our champion. He's like, well, I don't know how to fight. And he's got this really cute little, like, shield bearer who's this little boy. That'll be the foil for him. And So this is kind of a fun little story. There's a bear here. That's, there's some, there's, it's, it's comedic, right? Some Just some neat little moments. Him with the bird and things like that. It's a kind of like a slice of life, maybe you'd call it. The comedy is kind of subversive and kind of muted and, um, yeah. 
It's very fun. And and it does go, it does follow the biblical story with David, so we won't go into all that. But this kind of, you get a chance of seeing what the book is like. I really like the letter, like I said. I like all the panels are hand done. Everything has got that handcraftedness to it. Like a, almost like he made this out of like, you know, lithographs. You know, he's he's just putting putting everything into it. Very analog, which I really like. I like that element to it. So, yeah, really fun stuff. I do like all these images. So I think that's it. That's all I think you need to see to check it out. I think um, you get a sense of the book, what it is, and uh, if you're interested, there's a link down below. You can get it there, and there you go. So I'm definitely gonna get his other work, like Tom Gold. Really fun. Again, it's a comic. It gives you something. It's kind of a cool little story. Uh, for him, not a happy ending, but <laughs> that's the way it is. Thanks for watching, guys. More videos, as you know, Tuesdays and Saturdays. And on Thursdays, I talk about movies. Not just any movies. I talk about the best of the best. The creme de la creme. I talk about films. That's what I do. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.